Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how do we apply for the master's course at the Esslingen University of Applied Sciences or simply Hochschule Esslingen University at Germany. So this is a public university and uh, today I am going to show you how can one apply to the master's international master's program of automotive system. This is a master's in engineering course with three specializations namely software based automotive systems, second vehicle dynamics and third car electronics so students from either computer engineering computer science uh, electronics engineering electrical engineering automotive engineering uh, and mechanical engineering anyone can apply for the course considering all three specializations are available so let us see guys how can one apply for the master's course welcome to the channel guys this is vikas and let's go Okay, so this is the university's official website and uh, all those courses are available uh, which are available by the universities are been mentioned on this website. You can check them all, all the other details regarding the university campuses and uh, the location as well as what all degree programs they offer everything is mentioned on this website so i'm showing you all the masters uh, the masters degree program which are available under the university uh, so this is the catalog for the same you can see uh, whatever masters degree you want to apply for you can go to the page and see what uh, what the course offers you for example automotive systems you can click on that and you can see what is the what are the details about the course about the professors and the modules and um, how do we have to apply what are the prerequisites for the same everything has been mentioned over here other than this i am also mentioning the dart website link in the description box so that uh, you can go and check those details over there as well it's a simple way to check the details about any particular course at any university so guys uh, let us see uh, how can we apply for start applications for the same so i'll show you the courses available for example on this page they have mentioned what all courses are available for the winter and semi uh, winter and the summer semester uh, i'm going for this course automotive systems for the winter semester and uh, the deadline for the course is 31st of march and um, that's it i'll directly go to the application portal okay so this is the application portal first of all a uh, basic drill that you have to follow that is registration uh, on the website or the portal so you have to write your first name your surname and email id create a passport password and all so guys i'm telling you one thing and take a note of that whatever details you are filling over here especially for your names and surnames and all those should be according to your passport so that it will be a matching uh, information and you don't uh, face any problem in future i've already created my login credentials so i log in in with those so i logged in into the system first of all the first page is the information page uh, over here you have to mention what is your priority for choosing your specialization yes this university asks you for cho uh, like for choosing your priority before even your admission so that people from each department will be uh, taken into consideration for example computer science or electrical engineering electronics or mechanical or automotive automotive engineering so i have selected car electronics as my first priority uh, second priority is an option so uh, over there i have selected software based automotive systems and uh, i haven't selected vehicle dynamics as its uh, core mechanical or automotive systems or automotive engineering course or specialization so i'm not into it so i haven't chosen anything as such so the application deadlines and every details have been mentioned over here i'll just mark the page i have already uh, done this application so all the information will be there on this website or this uh, application so you just have to check and uh, you can pause the videos wherever you want so i'll do next on the next page uh, there's a personal information i'll be hiding these details like these are my personal information and you have your own so this won't be a problem i suppose then contact information again you have to uh, write down the details of your emergency contact your parents or any sibling or any any friend or what so that's it i'll go on next education yes guys over here you have to first of all mention your second uh, secondary education uh, for me it was my 12th grade 
uh, for few people it might be a diploma as well because many people from India or neighboring countries uh, do prefer diploma after the 10th or 10th grade so you can write that as well for me it was uh, it was my 12th standard so that was my higher education date so what percentage i got and then uh, yes they have mentioned for indian applicants if you have any diploma or that so for all those who have the diploma uh, who have done the diploma you have to choose yes over here and uh, write down those details okay later your bachelor's detail wherever you have done your bachelor's in engineering or bachelor's of technology or bsc uh, all those details are over here i suppose there won't be any problem uh, for me it was savitri bai phule pune university it is in pune city country india the university website uh, what degree i have obtained that is bachelor's in engineering or b engineering then uh, duration of the course in years was four years of degree uh, yes it was a regular duration course so all the four years were regular then subject was electronics and telecommunication engineering total credit points were 190 date of my study final grades in uh, cgpa and what was the minimum and maximum possible grade for my university do you have any second degree so no then the prerequisites uh, so yes this is an important step if you are applying for any specialization so they will check whether you are uh, eligible for the same or not so for example i have applied for car electronics so they will check whether in my bachelor's degree uh, the cgp uh, sorry the credit points for enough uh, in electronics that uh, will be necessary for me to pursue this course at the Esslingen University and Esslingen University is known for its competition it's a highly competitive university for this course for this particular course and they will uh, go thoroughly th through your application and trust me guys this is one of the toughest university to get into in Germany so they will check everything so I have around 100 um, around 100 uh, credit points in my in electronic subjects out of my 190 uh, calculated it using all my bachelor's uh, degrees all my bachelor's results and I have calculated according to that so going next international test uh, yes English was not my mother tongue so I have uh, but I have completed my education in English uh, so I don't have to prove any education test ILTS and all if you have your bachelor's in any other language other than English so you have to prove your English language proficiency so I do have my ILTS course but they didn't ask me uh, when I choose yes for my uh, medium of instruction any job history so uh, i do have a job history so there are two parts basically uh, job history before your graduation and job history after your graduation so obviously before your graduation it's kind of difficult P few people do prefer after the diploma uh, but i don't have anything like such so i have done a job for a few months uh, in india so i have written those details here and then uh, that's it you can also write other job details i suppose the job history part was simpler because it again depends uh, for person to person everyone has uh, the like different uh, profiles so german skills uh, they will first ask you about your mother tongue for me it was marathi then um, have you done any german uh, coaching or language coaching uh, so i have started even in fact i have uh, done a1 up to a certain limit so how many hours of german language German knowledge do I have so around 100 hours I have I have calculated it approximately it's not the correct figure but uh, it will be plus or minus 5 hours you can say and uh, I have taken private lessons or a, or a tutor in India at the time of uh, reaching Germany what, what level I'll be completing uh, what German lang language level I will be completing so that will be A2 so I have written that as well okay so going next uh, here I we have to apply I mean we have to upload the certificates or documents first of all your bachelor's degree certificate uh, okay sorry so bachelor's degree certificate then transcript of records so that file uh, then work experience letters if any then uh, and yes there is an attachment over here so guys you have to do one thing like it's one of the most important thing for applying so they have given an attachment package so I'll go to that fine for ASM DDM and MBA so I come under ASM 
so what do i have to uh, like uh, upload is i have to upload this five files so first of all is a transcript evaluation i'll go to that i have to fill this transcript evaluation on my own basically and at the end i'll have to take a stamp from my university or uh, and the signature so uh, these details basically you can fill it from your university or college website uh, college office as well you can go to your college and they will help you out uh, filling this form then letter of motivation uh, they have given a template you have to write your letter of motivation in this template and that will be enough then cv again there is a template given by them you have to complete this cv you have to write every details over here and then and then a checklist i uh, just have to checklist i mean clear take on to what what documents you have you have filled and uh, you are uploading and then at the end recommendation form okay so recommendation form many of you uh, might have recommendation letters from your university professors or work employ uh, work managers but uh, what this university ask you is they have their own format so you have to fill all those details in this format from either you fill it and uh, you take a signature from your professor and this all these parts are to be filled by your professor only and general comments and every other details so you need to fill this uh, template form uh, so as to apply for the course uh, yes this is a this is one of a hectic process i suppose because none of the other universities from germany ask you to fill their own format uh, uh, format letters and documents but yes this university ask for that and many people will skip this and they won't apply for the course but trust me guys this is worth doing it because the university is very very good and uh, do take this step i mean uh, take some ha hard efforts and you can fill this as well so after filling this form you have to merge everything uh, so and at the end you have to merge all these five files all these five files merge it load it over here so guys this is a hectic process i know but um, you have to do do that you if you want to apply for that okay then next recommendation again uh, you have to fill in your recommend uh, recommenders uh, information so that they will get a email and um, i don't know what the step will be after this whether the university uh, university is going to mail them any link and they have to fill it or not but you just have to write down those details here. then talking about the funding they are asking you whether you are a scholarship recipient or not so i'm not a scholarship recipient by any scholarship uh, ngo or, or any organization and uh, how do you intend to fund your education so it it will be my self funding loans and all so that's it I'm going next uh, declaration of consent uh, you can pause this video so you can see what all details i have filled in and at the end you just have to fill the survey and that's it you have to submit the form so this is the complete process for applying at hochschule esslingen and at, at the time of uploading your documents it's a bit, bit hectic process but uh, other than that i don't feel that anything else is um, difficult to understand and i suppose students or uh, or all those who are applying for this course uh, are going to take this efforts because the university is very good and uh, it's worth doing this hard work so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like the video do like this video subscribe to the channel and do watch my previous videos as well i have applied for other universities and i have uploaded those videos as well other than that i uh, do follow me on instagram as well you will find uh, many informative content over there as well so do follow me there and if, uh, if you face any problems uh, feel free to contact me or ping me on my instagram as well or do comment on this video many uh, me or my team will help you out uh, in resolving those issues thanks a lot and uh, subscribe to the channel like the video do share the video comment on the video and bye bye